Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see use the action center in Microsoft Defender for endpoint. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I am logged on to the portal and under action and submissions you will see the action center. Well, the action center of Defender portal would list pending and completed remediation actions for the devices, email and collaboration content. The, the action center brings together remediation actions across Defender for Endpoint and Defender for Office 365. It will define a common language for all remediation actions and provides a unified investigation experience. So the action center would consist of pending and historical items. One uh, pending would be under pending, history would contain historical items. Pending displays a list of ongoing investigations that require attention. History as an audit log for all the following items like what all remediation actions were taken through the automated investigation. What are the remediation actions that were approved by the security operation teams or the commands that were run and uh, the remediation actions that were applied in live response sessions. So when an automated investigation runs, a verdict is generated for each piece of evidence investigated. It would, uh, it can be a malicious, suspicious or false positive or no threats. And it would depend upon type of threat, the verdict, how the organization device groups are configured. If you want to review the pending actions, you just go to pending, you would, I don't have any actions. So it would not come here. You would come under uh, pending, pending under the action center, it would list all the pending actions in the pending tab and you would select an investigation, open it, where you can approve or re reject the remediation action. If you want to review the completed actions under the, the pending, sorry, under the six history tab, expanded time period, uh, you can see one day, 30 days or six months. You would select an item to view more details and then you can uh, know more about that the remediation actions. You can also undo the completed actions. Let's say you determine that a device or a file is not a threat. You can undo the remediation actions that were taken, whether those actions were taken automatically or manually. And you can remove a file from quarantine across multiple devices. If let's say you want to remove a file from uh, quarantine across multiple devices, you would go into the history for the completed remediations you would see the file that has action type of quarantine file. In the pan, you would apply to X or more instances of this file and then you would select undo. There are many action source details that you can view in the action center. And when it comes to submissions, in Microsoft uh, 365 organization with Exchange online mailboxes, admins can use the submission portal in the Microsoft 365 Defender portal to submit email messages, URLs and attachments to Microsoft for scanning. When you submit an email message for analysis, you will get email authentication check, policy hits, uh, payload reputation and grader analysis. And make sure that if you want to submit messages, let's say if you want to submit to Microsoft for analysis, you will click on here, you will select the submission type. If it's an email URL or an attachment, you mention the URL here, you would select the reason for submitting it to Microsoft. And then you will categorize that URL as well. What is the action that you want to take onto that URL? Make sure that you are security administrator or security reader in the Microsoft 365 Defender portal if you want to submit uh, the URL, email or an, an attachment. And admins can submit messages as old as 30 days if it's still available in the mailbox and are not purged. Admin submissions are throttled 
so maximum submissions in any 15 minute period are 150 submissions same submission in a 24 hour period three submissions in a 15 minute period and if you want to report suspicious content to microsoft make sure that all of these types that you are submitting are based on the type of content you want to report okay and then you can notify users from within the portal as well so when on the submission page you select uh, user reported uh, messages i will cancel it here you will select user reported uh, in the select submission type make sure that uh, email is selected and in the add the network message id or upload the email file section you would have to type in the network uh, message the id network message id that is a good that's available in the X MS exchange organization network message id header make sure that this is set to email in the drop down and in the id you will type in the X MS exchange organization network message id you will uh, upload the email file that you have saved and in the recipient In the who had an issue box specify the recipient that you would like to run a policy check against right and in the reason you can mention that uh, shouldn't have been blocked or should have been should have been blocked whatever false positive false negative and then you can uh, send the suspect url to microsoft as well following this option and then you can submit an email attachment as well following this option and then you can view the admission submissions to the Microsoft. If I cancel this, go back. Here it is uh, submissions box. On the submissions page, you can verify that the emails URL or email attachment tab is selected. And then you can see the submissions and you can sort the entries, whatever you have submitted to Microsoft and you can admin the submission result details as well view user submissions to microsoft as well or you can undo user submissions as well so this is uh, what i wanted to share about action center and submissions on microsoft 365 defender i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day